Right, you guys, got another video here for you on five common reasons why Windows updates fail. Now, sometimes when you go to update, you may get a message saying something went wrong and you have to roll back, or an update just completely fails and you can't seem to get it installed on the system. So we'll talk about the five common reasons why. The first one is insufficient storage or space on the hard drive. So if you've got a drive that's completely full, when you go to run your Windows update, what's going to happen is there's not going to be enough spare space for the update to complete. And sometimes this can uh, cause problems and you'd end up having a failed update. So always try to keep uh, plenty of uh, room on your drive for updates. Now, another very common problem I see when people ask for help on our Discord server is the amount of numerous updates that are queued in the update process. What generally happens is Microsoft will release updates quite frequently and these updates will be rolled out on a regular basis and these can be major updates for feature updates or um, security updates and things like that. What tends to happen is people will pause their updates for long periods of time and you would end up with months and months and months worth of updates that are backlogged. And when you go to update those updates, they can generally cause a major problem and you can end up with a failed update. Another problem I see is different versions. People will have really old versions of Windows 10. As you can see here, there's many different versions and some people will pause their updates or block Windows updates and their version becomes so old that then when they enable it again, they're so far behind that they can't actually physically update to the very latest version and it causes problems and it ends up failing. And the only solution to that will be to download the latest version of Windows 10 and reinstalling it and backing all your data up. But people don't want to do that. So basically, that is another common problem. So just make sure that you always stay within one of the very latest version of Windows 10. For instance, if they've released 21H1, you can stay with 20H2 until they release another version and then you can roll out to 21 h1 that way you don't have any major problems and you're always within one of the latest version from microsoft releases also if you're using very old versions that are not supported and they're in end of service you want to make sure that you do a fresh install of windows 10 because they are not going to be supported anymore and when you try to update those you're going to end up with major problems and update failures so just keep an eye on the versions that you're running this video is sponsored by CD Key Sales. To get your Windows 10 Pro key, click on the Buy Now button, put in my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, apply this to get 25% off the purchase price. Submit your order, then choose to pay with your PayPal account. Then head over to the activation, change product key, copy your product key in and click Next, then click on Activate to activate your Windows 10 Pro. Another common problem is driver conflicts. The main function of your operating system is to manage the different hardware devices that you have plugged in and connected to your computer. So if you've got old drivers that are really outdated, sometimes they can conflict and cause a problem. So always keep your drivers updated to the latest versions and that way you'll stop any sort of driver conflicts causing problems like say for instance your graphics card if you've got an old graphics card driver on there and you need to update it, keep it updated and that way it will stop any problems. Another problem is corrupt system files. Windows has a lot of system files that are necessary for the operating system to work properly. Any corruption among these files can have a major consequence on the entire operating system. And this includes your failed Windows updates on your system. So it's always best to keep those working correctly sometimes the windows update components can get corrupted in some shape or form and you might need to reset all of these you can do a bunch of different things to try to repair this first off you can try the troubleshooting tool inside windows 10 it's built in you can type troubleshooting and go to windows updates and basically run the troubleshooter and it will try to fix any sort of problems with your windows update components sometimes this is not quite good enough and you need to uh, take it a step further. And I'll show you some of the other things that you can try to try to fix and resolve these problems. The next one is going to CMD, which is your command prompt and running this as administrator. 
and then opening this up on your PC. This will open up a command prompt box just like this one and you can try SFC space forward slash scan now. And this is going to scan your system files to see if there's any corrupt files there and it will try to repair them and fix them for you. And this can sometimes resolve some problems. So what this system file checker is going to do is check all your core system files for possible corruption and attempt to fix them. And hopefully this will resolve a lot of your problems. You can see here Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations on my system, which means it's good. You can then try the dism command here. Let me just show you what this is. It's called dism space forward slash online space cleanup dash image. And then we can do space forward slash restore health. Now you can do scan health first and it will scan the health of the drive and find out whether there's any corruption there. And if there is, then you can run the restore health I've just gone straight in and run the restore health here just to show you. Now, once this is finished running its scan, it does take a bit of time, so be patient and let it finish. Now, once that has finished, you can then run the SFC space forward slash scan now again to see whether it comes back all clear and there's no problems. If so, you can then try to run uh, the Windows update and see whether that resolves your issue. If you're still having issues after that, you can try uh, what I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to be restoring the Windows Update components. And sometimes when you update Windows, uh, th there can be files that have been corrupted in some way, shape or form when they've come down and they're stored on your PC. If you look in this PC and then go to your C drive and then go to Windows here, inside here, we can go down to System32 here. Let me just quickly find this here. There we go. System32. Inside here, we're looking for the cat root 2, and you can see this area here. Inside here, there's a bunch of files that uh, get stored from your Windows updates. Also, if I go back one here, let me go back and go back to Windows. Inside here, we can look for software distribution. Inside here, you can have a bunch of uh, downloads for your Windows updates that are stored here, and if they're corrupt, What's going to happen is it's going to keep trying to install those and you're just downloading and installing them over the top. So we need to clean all of that out and clean all this area out. Now there is an actual batch file you can run on the system rather than doing all of these commands singular in your command prompt. And I'll leave the link for this in the video description. You can right click and run this and this will reset all the DLL files and basically all the Windows update components. So just run it and you can see it's going to stop some services and then it's going to clean some stuff out and it's basically restart all the services again. If you see an error message here, don't worry about that. Could not find the program data, application data, Microsoft network downloader. Uh, don't worry about that. It uh, deletes any sort of files like log files or anything like this and it will clear out all of those areas. Once this is done, it will restart all those services and then we can go ahead and try to run the Windows Update tool again to see whether that rectifies any problems. And sometimes, nine times out of 10, this will resolve a lot of those problems. And you can go back in here, check for updates, and hopefully you will start having your downloads and updates coming back down. Now, if you're one of these people that like to run programs on your system to block telemetry and all your privacy settings and use a lot of registry uh, tweaks and also use a lot of group policy tweaks, then what's going to happen is you're going to end up with a lot of other issues and this is why you're going to have continued problems trying to get Windows updates to work. Especially if you've been blocking Windows updates completely and you've forgotten how you did it, now you're having troubles to trying to get Windows updates working. You will need to either refresh your PC or reset all of those policies that you've got in place to get your Windows updates to work properly again. And that is probably a very common problem I see there where people mess with their settings all the time and block a lot of these Windows updates. And when they come to wanting to update Windows, they finally can't because they've got uh, restrictions on the PC. And these restrictions will have to be reset or removed for you to be able to update Windows or use any of the other features that you've blocked on your Windows 10 system. Now, another common problem is the Windows Update service is not functioning properly or not running. And Windows Updates needs this service running 
for it to be able to roll out updates for your system. So you can go into services here by typing services and then going into the services pane here and look for Windows updates. And it's important that this is running on the system. If this is turned off or disabled, because I know a lot of people always disable a load of services on here. And what will happen is it won't function properly. So make sure you're looking for Windows updates here and make sure that service is running. If it is running, maybe stop it and then start it again. See if that uh, rectifies the problem. It's set to uh, startup type manual. Then you can have this set to automatic or whatever you want to set yours to. But basically that should be running and make sure there's no pause on your updates and all the settings in your Windows 10 are turned on. So with this pause like this, you're going to be pausing this for seven days and then you can uh, pause it again and then so on. So you can do that for a numerous days. And if you've got this paused, it's not going to work. Also make sure that all your update settings are running. You haven't got any sort of pauses on your updates inside the settings area here. If you're still having trouble, you can always go to Microsoft's website and download the update tool. You can hit the update now, and this will give you the Windows 10 update assistant and download this to your computer and run it on your PC. And it will try to download the updates for you via this method. Sometimes this can be uh, useful and helpful by getting the latest updates down if you're having issues with it. Uh, you can see mine's already updated, but you can run this and it will tell you that you've got updates here. Do you want to roll out the updates? And you can continue with this and basically it will update your system to the very latest version. So give that a go and uh, hopefully that works out for you. Also, another thing you can do is use the Microsoft Update Catalog and download them manually. There is updates on here. You can do a search for a particular update that you're looking for and download it manually and install it on your system. And that should hopefully get installed on your system. If it won't allow you to install these via this method, then you've got some sort of major problem. And all of the other fixes that we've talked about in this video haven't worked, then you're probably best to either refresh your PC or do a fresh install of your operating system. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. That is the five most common reasons why your Windows updates fail. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.